Well, I noticed the other day that I had some humid on the V-birth right there. And that's not good, but I have, I was just checking the chain locker, the anchor chain locker. Uh, and I think I, I can do something about that. It looks dry here, the water runs away, but I have these screws here that they rust. And I think water can go in here or humid or whatever. And, um, so what I'm planning to do, and here also on the other side, what I'm planning to do is to paint the wall here. Uh, first I have to close the holes. Um, so, and then paint the, the wall here with some uh, uh, epoxy paint or something to make it more sealed, to seal it more. So, yeah, and hope that this is a problem, but I don't see any other problem here. It should be something here and then there that gives the humid in the V birth. Otherwise, the holes down there, they are not blocked. The water is running away. So that's one project. The other project I have going on right now is uh, my pilch pump. There's some problem with my pilch pump. I took my pilch pump apart the other day. And uh, to clean it. But then I realized that I will be better off if I change all the ceilings around here so there is a kit but then i found out the problem here i have uh, the nut i don't have it right now but uh, the nut was almost in pieces and it was difficult to find a nut and if i had to change the whole bolt and the nuts that comes together it costs something like a i shall say 110 euros that's almost near to 800 uh, danish crowns so but i found a nuts this is not stainless steel but for the moment it will do and i will put some lots of grease around it on it and then keep an eye on it until i find the right nut and i have also ordered a service kit so that has to wait for a week or maybe 10 days so yeah some small projects to get ready for my trip to Sweden. That's my plan in a couple of weeks to take a trip to Sweden in the middle of September. So if everything goes good. Another project, I found out my new refrigerator is fine here, but I found out that the, the extension cable I put that goes around, yeah, that one, and goes to the lighter plug here yeah it's thin and it doesn't provide the right amount of power so the refrigerator it doesn't give the right cooling temperature in there so what i'm going to do i'm going to change the extension cable i'm going to put this thick one a positive and negative and uh, run it i have to find a way to run it behind there behind the engine room in the engine room and then straight to the batteries and attach it straight to the straight to the batteries and then i'm gonna install this between the battery this uh, automatic fuse circuit breaker i'm gonna install it just before the batteries and uh, in that way i can also turn on and off the refrigerator so that's another little project that i'm planning to do I also bought a second hard inverter and uh, yeah that will go straight to the batteries but that cable is not long enough I have enough cable here to connect it just have to connect it here and my plan is to mount it just on the starboard berth just under here somewhere and then run the cables somewhere behind there and find my way 
straight to the batteries. But I think I have to wait with that project after I come from back from Sweden because I don't really need it so much. Uh, I'll, I will only be using it only with, uh, for my laptop and uh, my sale to Sweden will be selling in the archipelago and I don't plan to use the lap laptop that much there unless I go in the harbor but in the harbor I will have the shore power so I don't need to install that now I think I will see when I begin with the installation of that cable to run from the refrigerator I might be teased to <laughs> install that as well we'll see if I have the time so the boat right now uh, looks a little messy tools everywhere not everywhere I didn't install the projects yet so it's not so many tools for the moment I'm gonna clean the V-birth the wall yeah working here I had to remove the mattress in order to reach there yeah it's getting better now but uh, there is marks on the wood uh, maybe I could just uh, give some I don't know paint oil varnish I don't know but yeah uh, that's the most the, that's not the most important thing now the most important thing is to the other side so my job is done for today I just clean the inside of the V-birth the wall this uh, and um, it looks fine I, I was scared that the wood was damaged but it's not it's just the surface so um, the boat looks like a mess again not like a mess it is a mess so the next projects have to wait but um, I need to buy the epoxy paint or something and then uh, apply it on the other side of the chain locker on the wall and I close some small holes where this uh, old screws they're rusted so that's the yeah quite a few projects not big projects but uh, they need uh, some time all right now i've been to the boat and I set up the air blower, the hot air blower. But uh, I just checked the, the wood, the wall in the V berth, and it's really, really dry. It feels very dry. But I just set, the, I set up the air blower just to heat it up a little in there. I will leave it run for 10 15 minutes. And then I will put the dehumidifier and I will have it running until tomorrow. And then I will come and check how much water is in the and uh, in the in the dehumidifier i will empty it and then let it run one more night and then i think it should be ready to put some epoxy paint or something on the other side on the uh, chain locker so i hope that will do the trick yeah and while the air blower is working i'm just having a beer and when i'm done with that i will turn it off turn the, the humidifier on and then drive off. Cheers! That was the water, the dehumidifier gather overnight yeah it's not that bad I was expecting it to, to be full but there's not so much humid in the boat now like in the winter so um, that's good and I just checked the the, the wall in the V berth and it's completely dry at least when I when I touch it from here it feels very dry so I just empty the anchor chain locker uh, here is the chain and I decided to order a new chain my chain is a little old it's okay but uh, I kind of don't trust it 
and it's also in two pieces it's connected with the shagol and I don't like that so I decided to order a new chain this is 45 meters I order 55 meters so I extend the chain that's the chain logger um, so that's the one I have to paint but I think I'm gonna paint everything I'm gonna wash it down and the hole is down there so I'm just gonna wash it all and those were the screws where the those hoses they were up here so the water runs out the drains uh, I might look to find new of this the same diameter and then I will close the holes there I will seal them before I start painting tomorrow hopefully there is a little crack between the deck and the wall and I want to fix it with some fiberglass yeah it's not here It's a little chop, but uh, it's messy. It's always like this. You start a little project and the little project becomes a little bigger project. <laughs> uh, I just had to fiberglass. I just had to glass this piece here and all the way in the corner. Yeah. So I've done this, so I'll come back tomorrow and I will uh, carry on paint the chain locker yeah <laughs> projects well I decided to prepare the cables for the refrigerator connection for the extension so I'm doing this now so I'm back on the boat today and the plan is to begin to paint the chain locker but before I do that there's a little screw that I couldn't remove yesterday it's rusted it's in so I think what I'm gonna try to do I'm gonna try to cut it flush and then seal it close it yeah the screws here they are taking off there's a little hole so I'm gonna just seal them and before I paint. So for the moment, I'm done with the chain locker. I just clean it. I applied a uh, Tech 7 in the holes and I have to wait until it's gonna dry. I don't know, it doesn't say how long time it takes to dry, but uh, anyway, I have some other project I will begin with. I will begin to run the cables from the refrigerator, find a way to come under the engine room. And then in the batteries, which there are batteries there under here. So let's go. So this is the cable that comes from the refrigerator and it's short, as you can see. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna connect this cable with the new cables I bought. I have them somewhere here. Yeah, they are here. Yeah. That's the cables I'm gonna connect with. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cut this off and then connect it to that cable. I just have to find the, the positive and negative. And the way I do this, I will test it with the multimeter. So I will just stick those here. And then put that end on the plug. shows 
minus. If I turn them around, and it shows plus. So now I know that this is the positive. So this is the positive. So I want to cut it off. I put a, I put a mark there so I know what's the positive. I know very little about electrics, but I have a good friend, Bent, thank you. He explained me how to do that with the multimeter, and that's fantastic. I'm learning all the time. I will just cut this off, and I'm gonna have to find the positive. So this one, so this is the, that's the one. Et voilà So now I have to I reach down to the batteries I have to find a way how to run the cable so it will come straight on the batteries I found this box to put the secret breaker I think it fits to put it here so I can easily access it and turn it on and off yeah Yes, it's working, it's working, finally. It was a little project, but it ended up to be a little big project. <laughs> and look at the mess in the boat. <laughs> and it's working, perfect. Super. One project done. Now I'm missing to paint the chain locker. Yeah, the ceiling I put in the holes uh, is not dry yet. And it's okay, it fits me good because uh, then I have been busy installing, running the cables for the refrigerator. So that project is done, which probably was a big one. Uh, so I will see how the weather is tomorrow. Come back and paint the chain locker. That's it for today. Here I am again, today, two days after, I'm down the chain locker. Uh, now I'm ready to paint, the weather is fine. So I'll go on and apply the, um, what is it? We have the primer, yeah. And after that, the finished paint on top. And the finished paint should be applied just before it dries completely, the primer dries completely. So let's go.
I'm done with the primer and I think it dries pretty quick so I have to apply the final layer before it dries completely so I will get it ready it's going good so ready to paint the final layer the primer was white this is a little little gray so that's easy to to know where I'm painting now done with the final layer and I still have a lot of paint left I put a little too too much on purpose because uh, the primer I uh, it was just about enough so I pulled up a little more now but uh, the second layer uh, the, the primer was uh, very thick and the second layer which is the final layer it's uh, more thin and very easy easier to apply so um, I didn't need that much but now I have it so I'm thinking I'm gonna go for a second final layer but I just wait for a while to dry and then uh, I go ahead and uh, use the rest of the paint yeah. so I'm done with the painting so I gave it uh, one primer and two finished layers. It should be fine. Beautiful. So the chain is coming hopefully after the weekend. It's Friday today. So we'll be ready to accommodate the chain. Project done. I got the parts for the, stuff, uh, the service kit for the bilge pump, but uh, the don't fit, it's for a different model. It was, it's very difficult to find out exactly on the internet. So I have to send it back and I'm gonna put the bilge pump together again. I'm gonna clean it, clean all the gaskets and put the bag again the way it is. And I think it's gonna work. And then I'm gonna order the right parts after my trip to Sweden. Yeah, so project's done. Great. So I just moved the boat here to clean the bottom. I made this wood. I have my friend here, Atze from Germany. He's helping me to clean the boat. I made this piece of wood. Atze, can we see this? Take it out. Yeah, I make this today. There was a lot of shells on the boat, so I made this today. And it's working fine. And Atze is helping me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But it's a good idea. Good idea.